Okay, we ended our last video with this question. How can we determine the characteristics note above with the aid of the graph? So how can we find the vertex, axis symmetry, y-intercept, and the x-intercepts without using a graph? So now we'll concentrate on that here. So we're given another quadratic function. And for the function, term the coordinates of the y-intercept, the axis symmetry, and the vertex. So coordinates the y-intercept. Remember the general form is y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. This last value here, or it doesn't have to be last, it could be given in any order, but the value without an x is always the y-intercept. So right here. So that will be coordinates y equals 12 or at the point 0, 12. Equation of the axis of symmetry. We use the formula negative b over 2a. So x equals Our B value is negative 8. And our A value, you don't see a number in front of x squared, so the A value will be 1. So negative is already here. So negative 8 over 2 times 1. Negative and negative is a positive. 2 or 4. So our axis of symmetry is x equals 4. And then the coordinates of the vertex. We know that our axis symmetry and our x value of the vertex are the same number. So we have the x value here. Again, remember that came from here. So now we need to find the y value. We said take the x value and we substitute it back into our equation. So here's our equation. Now we're going to substitute the value of 4 back in. Four squared subtract thirty two plus twelve. negative 4. So the vertex is at 4, negative 4. And these steps are summarized here. So next question, how can we algebraically determine the x-coordinates for, for our graph? So they're graphing. How can we find out what our x-coordinates are going to be? We know what they should be from the graph. They should be 2 and 6, but how are we going to find them? 